Another fight on a cruise ship, this time Islanders. It's on board the Carnival Paradise, and this fight is a flat-out brawl. You can call it a tag team match. You can call it no disqualifications. A battle royale, a royal rumble. They're throwing chairs and plates. They're tossing each other around on tables. Six minutes of footage from this latest brawl. We'll talk about it on the show today and what Carnival Cruise Line has to say about it as well. We're also going to share an update as the first hurricane, a Category 5 hurricane, is currently in the Caribbean affecting many cruises. We're also going to share a change in cruise pricing. We shared this last week, but now it's in place and I'm afraid that it could have an impact on cruisers in the degree of hundreds of thousands and over the course of years, millions of dollars. We all need some time on the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. A big happy Tuesday to all you Islanders. We hope that you're having a great day. We are right here on Island Time. I am Derek. Let's drop our anchors and take some time to relax in the islands together. Relaxing in the islands, relaxing on a cruise ship. That is what it's all about. You and I both, that's where we want to be. And when we're not there, we come here to get our daily cruise fix. We are glad that you're here. We hope you are a member of this community by subscribing to the channel. Relaxing on a cruise is what it's all about. And that is not at all what happened recently on board the Carnival Paradise. It was the last night of a cruise. There's a video of this fight that took place. And like I said in the intro, this is not just the old simple, you know, pow, pow, uh, boom, 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 bam, bam, bam. It's not that. We're talking about no disqualifications. You can use any weapon around you. You see a chair up there on Lido deck, go ahead and use it. You see a plate, bam, use it. No disqualifications, a six minute video was captured. I'm not going to show it on the show today in fear of this channel, my channel, uh, having some backlash by YouTube, but the video is out there on YouTube and I will share it in the description of this video if you want to watch it. A man was just going up to get pizza and little did he know that he got pizza and a show. The fight took place over six minutes and as I said, it was indoors on Lido deck Chairs being thrown, plates being thrown. There were several people involved in this fight. Quite the spectacle. And it's, uh, it blows my mind. Fights take place. They take place at home. They take place at all-inclusive resorts. They take place at airports, on airplanes, and on cruise ships. And I understand that's the reality of it sometimes. But when I see a video like this, and I see the bra and the anger in a video like this, I just have to wonder, how did we get to that point? What happened on a cruise ship, on vacation, that we got to that point where people's hair is being ripped out, where plates are being broken, chairs are being thrown? What in the heck happened? And is the ship not big enough that if you get ticked off at somebody, can you not go to another part of the ship and not see that person for the rest of the cruise? Do we have to ruin it for everybody? The passengers that are there, the crew members, I felt so sorry for. If you watch the video, you can see the security officers walk up there and they're trying to manage things. But guys, this is not just two people in the fight. There's a high number of people, the six, eight, 10, I don't even know. You can't even tell how many people are in the fight. I felt sorry for those security uh, members who are trying to break it up. The video is long enough that you even see the fight is done finally, right? My goodness gracious, finally done. And then you see the crew members, uh, members of the housekeeping staff and things like that, who, who then have to come in and reset all the chairs, some of them broken, plates broken. And they have to sit here and clean up all this stuff because the crap that was caused by people fighting. Carnival Cruise Line, of course, has warned people about fighting and said, if you fight on our ships, you are not allowed to sail on our ships. Here's Carnival Cruise Line's response to this incident. Carnival Paradise's security team intervened an incident that took place on June the 6th, as is our policy, we will not tolerate such behavior and the guests involved were fined and will not sell on Carnival Cruise Line again. And I applaud Carnival Cruise Line. Do not ever, ever, ever let them sell with you again. I know there's competition out there. Carnival Cruise Line is competing with Royal Caribbean International. They're competing with Norwegian and Princess and all of them. I, I wish, and I hope maybe this takes place, 
that when there's passengers on Carnival Cruise Line that are banned for situations like this, I hope they share those names. Hey, don't, don't let these names, here's their birth dates, don't let them sell Royal Caribbean. Norwegian Disney, do not let these people sell. I know it's a competitive environment, but I hope they share that list. And I hope that these individuals are not on a cruise ship of any brand ever again. Islanders, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that this list should be shared between cruise lines? I wish that it would be. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We're going to share news as well. This, this headline is in uh, Cruise News. It's on social media. Some people are scared. We've had clients call because they're cruising in the upcoming week. Hurricane season is upon us, and it is rare that we see a storm as large. A Category 5 is what we're seeing right now. Hurricane Barrel uh, is barreling right now through the Caribbean, somewhere between Aruba in the Dominican Republic, Category 5 sustained winds of 150 miles an hour. She's headed to Jamaica, set to make landfall tomorrow in Jamaica. We are praying for those, of course, who are in the path of this storm. Uh, and it, it does affect these local communities big time. Livelihoods, housing, business, it affects them. It is sometimes life and death. For us, for you, and for me, it affects vacations, right? Vacations that can be changed, dates that can be changed, itineraries that can be changed. It, and it can be frustrating that you planned for your trip, trip, you paid for your trip, and maybe your itinerary has to change because of a hurricane. But keep in mind, we're talking about changing vacations when in reality, this hurricane and the reality of the situation is talking about changing lives. Couple things I'll point out to you. If you have a cruise coming up, you're going to be okay. Cruise lines will keep you safe. Just know that you may have booked a cruise to the Western Caribbean, and now you're going to the Eastern Caribbean, vice versa, and your cruise line will communicate this with you, but they may have to change your itinerary. Don't be upset with that at all. Know that if you purchase short excursions through the cruise line, they'll be refunded. If you purchase your own short excursions through a third party or independent agency, you may or may not get your refund. Keep in mind, hurricane season, especially when you book these excursions on your own. Uh, check that policy. If you don't make it to port because of weather, do you get your money back? Check that uh, before you book it. I wanted to point that out. We're praying, of course, for all those in the path uh, of Hurricane Barrel. We'll see what happens after it, it uh, hits uh, Yucatan, Mexico. Hopefully it doesn't turn north. There's a change that I pointed out. This is the last story for the day here. A change that I pointed out, it's been almost a week that I pointed this change out in cruise line pricing. And I liked the change at first, but now I have con some concern and I'm afraid that it could result in hundreds of thousands and millions over the course of years of passengers losing money. There's a new law in California that has really made cruise lines think about the way that they price their cruises. They've always, most cruise lines anyway, the big players, has always just showed the cruise rate that you see. They add on the port taxes and fees once you get to a certain process step in the booking. And a California law now says, it's a transparency law, the honest pricing law, now says that those in California who are looking to purchase different things, cruises included, the cruise line has to show them the total amount per person and not wait to take on, tack on the port taxes and fees until that last screen. This has changed things because cruise lines have said, okay, if we have to do this in California, we're going to do it across the board. Carnival, Cru uh, Carnival Cruise Line, Princess, Royal Caribbean, all of them have said, we're going to switch to this new pricing structure and visibility, not just in California, but across the country. And so if you checked prices lately on cruises, you may have said, oh my gosh, and it's just started July 1st. Prices have gone up. Here's an example. Casino offers for Carnival Cruise Line and Royal Caribbean International, they in fact, have it looks like gone up. They used to be $100 per person, and now they're showing that $100 cruise rate plus the port taxes and fees. They're showing $180 a person, $190 a person, and people are saying, what in the world? This is not good. My cruises have gone up. They haven't gone up. You're just seeing the real price. Now, here's what I don't like about this change. We spend hours every week looking at price drops for our clients. Every single Monday, we're up to like six hours a day looking at price drops. And I know you do the same thing. You check, you create a dummy booking, a mock booking. And now if you create that mock booking for your sale date, you're probably going to see that that price is way higher than what you paid because it is inclusive of port taxes and fees. 
But remember with price drops, you're looking at price drops on the cruise rate. It's a little bit more difficult to find. And I want to remind all of you that when you're doing your price checking, be sure that you're looking at the price rate, not just the overall cost of the booking. Hopefully your travel agent is doing this for you. If you book your travel through Amanda and I, we most certainly are, but I wanted to mention it to you because you may not do your travel through us. And I wanna make sure that you, when you're checking your price, that you're checking the cruise rate, not the overall price, because that is what you're going to see. I like the transparency, but I do think that over time, people will check the price of their cruise. They will assume it's just higher when really their, their cruise rate may have dropped. Do you like this change in pricing? Let us know in the comments section below. I would almost just rather go back to the old way, but that's not going to happen because of California law. I understand the transparency. I just don't want people to lose money or leave money on the table when really the, the cruise price may have dropped. Let us know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Islanders, we can't wait to see what you think regarding these stories. We hope you enjoyed the show today. If so, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the comment section on our Facebook page and tomorrow right here on Island Time.